Hey guys, what's up? This is Edgemeister and today we're going to talk about Forge, more specifically Halo 6's Forge and what we want from it. So, Tom French on Twitter has started to say we don't know if we have enough time left to do that for Halo 5, meaning they're already thinking about Halo 6 and what they're going to add in that iteration of Forge. Now, unlike Halo 5, I think they learned their lesson and I don't think they're going to release Forge later on. I think Halo 6 is going to launch with Forge. That is a huge bonus if you're like me. And one of the only reasons why you continue to play Halo games is for the Forge. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I, I, they have solid gameplay. But I would much prefer a, a bit more of a classic gameplay. I don't mind all the new stuff. Just... I want it to feel a bit more classic. If they could somehow do that, that'd be amazing. All the new stuff, plus just make it feel like an older Halo. Um, I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, please do it. Anyways, I want to talk about my wish list on what the things I want in Halo 6's Forge. Now, I'm going to start off with the more realistic stuff, and then as I go down the list, it's going to get more unrealistic and un unrealistic. So anyways, let's just get started. Um, a feature that Bungie has always implemented in, and this is kind of the only feature that I, I'm putting in this list that has been in a past Halo game, is file share at launch. I want to be able to download people's maps when the game launches. I don't want another Halo 4 where we have to wait. I don't want another MCC where we still don't have a file share. I don't want another Halo 5 where although our file share is probably one of the best we've ever had it's just it wasn't there and when we got it it was pretty basic and now it's better uh, I want the file share that we have in Halo 5 improved on at launch that is like some people may say that's too much to ask for but we got it in Bungie games so yeah I don't see why that can't be a thing uh, the next thing I want is just start off with all the pieces that are in Halo 5 at the time of Halo 6 launching. I don't want it to be like another Halo 5, I'll say, where it's like, oh, we don't have any kill balls, we don't have any one-way, two-way shields, we don't have any of this and that. Uh, we still don't have trade zones, which are amazing features that added in Halo 4 that we still don't have. I want all that in Halo 6. Uh, all the stuff that we have in Halo 5, plus new pieces. I think that the Halo 5 has a very, very solid set of pieces, and that's what we need. Next thing, uh, block textures. That's something that we've wanted for a long time. That's something that we wanted when Halo 5 Forge came out, and that's something we actually got within the lifespan of Halo 5 Forge. Now, Tom French has stated that we don't really have enough room to put too much more into Halo 5 so don't expect too many more textures coming if anything more textures will come with Halo 6 and that is exactly what I want I have a list here of some of the textures that I want so I want more metal textures uh, grates tin roof slash sightings imperfected so you have like you know it's not solid, you know, maybe there's some rust here and there. Um, and then you have perfected metal, so that's like super shiny, you know, it's it's just it's just metallic somehow. You know, there's maybe some lines of some tools being used to mold whatever you're making. But for the most part, it's perfect metal. I want drywall. I want to be able to make urban maps where you can go into a house and there's drywall in there. Uh, I want somewhat of like a Halo Reach texture. Obviously, you can't have Halo Reach versions of all the blocks because you'd have to go in and add glass on everything and all that. If anything, just look at the wall coliseums. How that is a pretty simple 400 texture, just you know, a few lines here and there. Uh, make a tileable version of that and make that in all the pieces and put that as a texture. Uh, have like a Halo 3 and and or Halo 2 anniversary esque texture where it's like that stone kind of thing not like the stone brick that we have right now but like just pure stone uh, I think that'd be really cool for making temples and stuff right yes right now you have all the stone brick which looks amazing but I feel like you know a sand trap remake would look a lot better with that 
on have kind of like a, an almost like a Halo 4 esque theme where it's like a, somewhat metallic. You got some stripes here and there. Maybe the textures don't line up. Sorry about the squeaking. I really need to fix that. I've been I, I I'm trying everything, guys. But yeah, have kind of like a Halo 4 esque kind of thing. Have a rock texture for all the different rocks in the games. Um, sometimes, like. I've put some grime and then I put like some textures on pieces to make them look like rocks so that I can kind of mold rocks better. It would be cool if you could just put a rock texture on any piece and kind of apply that to like a cave. So if there's just like this thing you want to patch up make the cave floor completely flat in one area, you can use a piece and just put a rock texture on it. I think that would be a great idea. Um, and maybe with terrain, I don't know. If you put terrain, you know, you'd have to make it like it is in Halo 5 right now, where it picks up the terrain sheets. If you don't know what I mean, you haven't done Forge. If you've done Forge, you probably know what I mean, where it picks up the textures where you move the block. It'd be cool if you had that as a texture as well. I'm not going to really ask for it, because I don't think we really need it. But I think that'd be cool for minor, you know, like, oh, I just want some grass in this spot. Let's use this piece. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, a stone wall, so that'd be like I, what I was saying, kind of the Halo 3, Halo 2-esque things, but just kind of, like maybe some cracks here and there, but it's not like a brick wall, it's just a stone wall. Uh, and then we want, I want normal bricks, we have like ancient stone bricks, but I want like normal, just normal bricks. Bricks you'd put in like a house, the, nowadays, not like a castle back in medieval times. And maybe some more variations of all this stuff. Like the stone bricks that we have right now have like a busted version where you have some cracks and rocks in them. Oh, yeah, and, and rocks, yeah. Um, you know, we could have drywall that's kind of tearing down a little bit here and there. We could have the normal brick with like, again, busted stuff. Just variations. And then on top, currently we have a couple things that you can put as overlays like grime and frost. I think we should put a little bit more. We should be able to have dust. So just like, you know, something really small, but something that can really make an area that looks pristine into an area that kind of looks weathered down and, uh, you know, unkept, which I think would look really cool. Uh, moss, which I think would look really cool on rocks as well. If you could put some overlays on top of rocks, frost would look cool on top of rocks as well. Frost and moss, there we go. And snow. Um, this would be kind of like snow on some of the trees and stuff where if Depending on where it's rotated is where the snow is so it'll, snow will always be on top So that'd be really good for uh, Making maps right now for like snowy maps people will put the snow on top of the like roofs of houses and stuff to make it look like You know it's being snowed on and stuff. It'd be really cool if we just got that as an overlay um, It's already in Halo 5 uh, If it wasn't I wouldn't be asking because I don't think that would be possible that wouldn't be something I thought would be possible if we didn't already have it and just like maybe some burn marks as well as an overlay so for example you could put it behind a torch or like around any fire I guess you could put that uh, you can make it look like it's wet put it underneath pipes burnt stuff I think that'd be really cool next up I think we want some more vehicles uh, for example we could have a Halo Reach civilian truck transport thing revolver that we had in Halo Reach's campaign, which would basically just be a Scout Hog that's remodeled. Uh, it'd be cool if we had a drivable forklift, drivable Phantom, drivable uh, everything in Halo 5. I think that'd be, oh, Halo 6, <laughs> at least just in the Forge. That'd be really cool. Like, for example, how we have pieces in Forge that we don't have in campaign and stuff, which isn't a surprise, but. I think we should have vehicles and weapons in Forge that we don't have in campaign. And I think that grouping everything and duplicating it really does help with symmetrical maps. But I think it'd be cool if we had like a mirror feature. Yes, some pieces can't really be mirrored, but uh, just flip those pieces. But everything else, it'd be cool if we had like a mirror function. That way we can make one half of a map, mirror, duplicate it, and put it on the other side of the map. And there we go, symmetrical map. So for example, you could already do a symmetrical map that way by duplicating it and stuff, but uh, it'd be the exact same on both ends. But if you look at a map like the Pit or a Midship, 
It's symmetrical, but it's not the exact same on both sides. Where you spawn going left and right on both ends are actually different because it's mirrored. It's not symmetric, like just duplicated. It's mirrored. So for example, you can make one half of the pit, select it all, duplicate it, mirror it, and there you go. You have the pit. Um, that's what I'd want. Um, next up is scaling. That's something that Tom French said that he wanted to kind of look into. Um, so that'd be like, instead of going through all your blocks and saying, I want a 10 by 16, you could just say, okay, again, really sorry for that squeakiness of the floor upstairs. I'm, I'm, I keep apologizing, apologizing, yep, okay, uh, let's get back on. So like for example, it'd be like making a zone, like a named volume or a kill volume or a safe volume, but it'd be like a block. So you could be like, okay, I want this pig to be super stretched out and oh my god, I think I just made a surfboard out of this pig. Um, you know, you, you could do a whole bunch of stuff with scaling. Um, I don't think it's possible right now for Halo 5 Forge, that's why I'm asking it for, for Halo 6. Next up is cross-platform for Forge and Customs across Xbox and PC. I don't think PC players should ever play with Xbox players in matchmaking because some PC players are goddamn gods on a freaking keyboard and mouse. And a keyboard and mouse does give a little bit more aim accuracy if you're really good with it than a controller because you have more freedom of the hand you're using the entire hand using your whole arm instead of just your thumb to aim <coughs> which i'm not i'm better using my thumb because i'm used to it but someone who's amazing on a thumbstick and someone who's amazing on a mouse um their skills aren't matched because the mouse player will beat the thumbstick player so no matchmaking but Forge and Customs, I think it'd be cool if you could put an option like allow PC players or allow Xbox players to join this game. And last but not least, AI. This is something that I thought like, oh, why would you want AI in Forge? That's kind of stupid. You know, they're never going to do that. But Tom French has expressed his interest. Uh, GameChi13 posted a video of him starting to put AI into Halo 5's Forge on PC. Ho oh, ho. You might, you, might, you might even get it if you have it on PC. You can, he's... Yeah, AI on that. I can't talk, I'm sorry. Um, but Tom French said that that's something he's really, really wanting. It'd be a huge leap for Forge. And honestly, it, it would allow us to make firefight maps and stuff. So I think that AI is last on my list because if anything, it's just something that they're going to look into and maybe put in. Hopefully they will. And I think that this list so far has been, well, pretty doable. Everything that I've said on here is something that is completely possible to happen and something that they're looking into. Uh, unlike some other videos where they're like, yeah, I want fully customizable terrain, which I think would be possible, but I don't think it'd be possible for Halo 6. Um, this is something that I really do hope I'm wrong. If you argue with me, it's like, dude, I don't think it's going to happen, but I hope you're right. That's basically going to be my argument if you're going to argue against it. But yeah, there's, there's a bunch of stuff that I think is unrealistic. I do hope everything eventually comes in the forge and we have a full map editor. But you also kind of have to think, like, if they give us too good of an editing tool, then their dev maps aren't going to be uh, up to par. There's a lot of forge maps right now out there that are better than the dev maps. And the only thing the dev maps have going for them is they have their own textures, they get to make their own terrain, they get to do everything. And uh, honestly, I think we're going to keep going with this free update model because no one's going to pay for maps and it's like, I can just like get a Forge remake of that exact map and it looks almost as good. So if they give us too good of a Forge, you have to think, okay, they're going to need the rec system, the microtransaction system back in the next game if the Forge is going to improve. That's kind of the way I think of it. That's why I don't mind microtransactions, because it's like, we may kind of need them in the future if you want this good of a map editing tool. Um, like Counter-Strike, I don't think that, I don't think you pay for maps in Counter-Strike. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to have to do it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys agreed with me on all these topics here. 
Um, if you didn't, if there is something on the list that you think would be plausible for Halo 6, just put it down in the description. I might do a follow-up if I get enough people saying, Oh, hey, you know what? I think this feature would be really cool. And I look down and say, You know what? You know what? It would. And if I get enough of those, then I'll make another video. So yeah, if you enjoyed, go ahead and check out the rest of my channel. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe just based off this video. Go ahead and check out the rest of it. See if you like it. I do a lot of Halo and Destiny, and things are going to be changing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that. I have lots of projects in mind. Sometimes they don't ever get realized, but I'm just going to tell you I do have projects in mind. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.